Okay, we are continuing our tutorial on the adjustments within Photoshop CS5 and in particular for photographers. Uh, let's look at this next one, um, black and white. This is a really nice feature with a click of a button. It's black and white, but for me it doesn't look like the best color. What we have though are sliders that allow us to modify that. Um, the skin tones are really seen within the reds and the yellows. So I like to work with those first. Um, bring that up and down. It shows you where we're at. And so this is really just kind of an eyeball thing. Um, find out where you want things where it looks good. I'll show you the greens here the greens are adjusting in the background but it's really not touching her skin that much That's, I like those bright spots the cyan's real, there's really nothing in there the blues it's showing in her dress but when I lower it it's showing a little bit more detail and the same thing a little bit in magenta so that's kinda nice but we we need a little bit more contrast so in that case I would make another uh, layer with curves and just bring in some punch make an S curve and so there's where we started with the automatic black and white and there's where we finished that's pretty good for for just um, a couple of minutes of work okay the, the rest of the adjustments are pretty much going to be really touchy uh, color adjustments that you have to uh, play with to figure out color balance it gives you can work in the midtone shadow or highlights and you can just see what each slider does it's going to change things and it can be really helpful if uh, say your white balance was off a little bit it gives you a little bit to manipulate and try to get it right but the changes happen so fast uh, and there's three different channels going it can be really difficult to get it perfect so it just takes a lot of playing um, one that is a little bit easier is a photo filter and what this does is it has a list of filters that would act like you had a filter lens or filter over the lens of your camera it just does what those lenses would do but it gives you the freedom to manipulate it within Photoshop so there's lots of options there um, channel mixer again this is your you're working with the red channel and you're making modifications to the red within that and you can do the same with with green and blue and you can come up with really funky stuff the that's not really the intention the intention is minor tweaks uh, so you have to be really careful and really sensitive with that uh, posturize that's just a freaky one it can be some art for some people so um, that was pretty simple it's there if you want it um, and selective color it's another adjustment where um, this one is a little bit slower in uh, the changes so you you can tweak it a little bit easier and it has more options to change the yellows and and such uh, 